Computer vision is the ability for machines to recognise objects in images or videos. Computer vision aims to mimic human vision by teaching the machine to discover patterns and learn to recognise objects on its own using many examples of images, either labelled or unlabeled. Examples of computer vision include face tagging on social media photos, automatic recognition of number plates, and vision used for self-driving cars. As humans, we use our own vision to identify things in our own environments that provide information about how we can react, interact and move. For example, when we're crossing the road outside, we might be looking out for cars, cyclists and other pedestrians. Our eyes are seeing objects and we're able to recognise them automatically through experience of seeing many of them before. To emulate human sight, machines need to acquire, process and analyse and understand images and video data. There are many opportunities and different types of audio and visual data. For example, data could be collected via video or photos taken by drones, satellite data, images uploaded to social media, medical images captured from x-rays or scans, surveillance footage, or images captured through image sharing sites. Computer vision can involve supervised and unsupervised techniques. In this example, we describe a supervised approach where we use labelled data and feature extraction processes. Let's consider an example where we're wanting to teach a computer to recognise images of Australian mammals. We start by using lots of different images and types of mammals. Firstly, a human attaches a label to each image that identifies a mammal in it. For example, taking an image of a kangaroo, we label this as kangaroo and the other as wombat. Next, we undertake a process of feature extraction. In feature extraction, we are looking for common features or attributes that characterise what we're seeing in an image that helps the computer make sense of the image. The features we extract are the points of interest in the image. Features need to be repeatable and precise so that they can be found in other images and distinctive in their appearance so they're not mistaken for other features. For example, we might identify an ear or an eye as being a good feature. Something like green grass as a feature is not the best as it's too ambiguous and could be featured in too many instances. There could be thousands of possible features in an image, but we need to select the features that are most useful or meaningful. For example, if looking at images of a kangaroo and wombat, we're considering attributes that describe the animal's appearance, such as number of legs, the presence or not of a tail, ears, height and weight. In our table here, we have some mammals and features associated with each. The next process involves training the AI algorithm based on the labels and features. This is done by providing the machine with lots and lots of images that includes labels and features data. The more examples we provide, the better the algorithm will be. Next, we see if the machine will correctly label an image that we give it. If we feed it the new images of kangaroos and wombats, it should look at the features it sees in the image and label it with either kangaroo or wombat. Similar to humans, machines can also make mistakes and produce errors. If the machine does not operate as expected, it needs to be trained using more examples. Computer vision is being used across a number of different fields today and to solve a range of different problems. For example, medical scientists are using AI-driven software that uses computer vision to more accurately and efficiently support them in detecting cancerous cells in medical images. In our everyday lives, we might encounter image recognition being used to automatically recognise faces of family and friends that we upload on social media accounts. When we upload images, we are provided with suggestions on who we might like to tag based on previous photos we've tagged. In agriculture, scientists are using computer vision to improve crop growth. They use image analysis to understand plants' shapes and structures at all stages of growth and to automatically measure attributes of plants associated with high yields early in a plant's lifespan. A final example is computer vision used with self-driving cars. Self-driving cars need to be able to perceive their surroundings and to recognise obstacles such as people, other vehicles, traffic lights and road signs in order to drive safely. The vehicles use cameras, radars, ultrasonic sensors, all to collect data about objects and use computer vision techniques to recognise these accurately.